Appalachian Wellness, where our specialty is you. I'm Raymond Owen Brink, the President and CEO of Appalachian Wellness here in Asheville. We're going to talk about correcting the matrix metalloproteinase 9, MMP, in SIRS. MMP9 is produced by cleavage of MMP14. This is a marker for spread of inflammation through soft tissues. MMP9 helps to basically clear a path for inflammation to spread through tissues in the body. That's its role in the body. It allows these inflammatory mediators to migrate through tissues, spreading inflammation through the extracellular matrix it has broken down. This level will be increased and elevated with uncontrolled uh, SIRS. Lowering MMP9 is accomplished with omega-3 fatty acids such as icosapentaenoic acid and doxohexanoic acid, which come mainly from fish, so they're sometimes called marine omega-3s. These should be taken at least four grams a day, usually two grams twice a day. Alpha linoleic acid, ALA, is another essential, which means unable to be produced by the human body, omega-3 fatty acid. Omega fatty acids work best when the leptin is less than 7. If leptin is above 7, however, pioglitazone, also known as actose, is a thiazolidine dione, TZD, anti-diabetes medicine that has a black box warning. This is off-label use of this medication, so patient-informed consent would be advisable, or at least documentation that it was reviewed in the chart, about being linked with congestive heart failures. So TZDs have been linked with CHF. Typically, however, uh, this medication will be used for a much shorter duration of time than a diabetic would use it. Whereas a diabetic might use it for years, somebody with SIRS might be on this medication for just weeks to months. And there are some references available for this medication if you're interested. <laughs>